minkä päällä lakukastiken maistuu parhaalta. Ei voi tietää, ellei kokeile. Kouvolan lakritsi. How is it going, everybody? Welcome to the ECL 24 Winter Finals. I appreciate you so much for joining us. My name is Logan Former, and I'm unbelievably excited to have been the one selected to bring this matchup to you today. There is an unbelievable rundown of skill here. The teams are so unbelievably close in skill, in stats, and everything else that you could possibly imagine on the ice. Hexa Esports comes in at 24 and 8 in the regular season. In the postseason, they are 6, 1, and 1. Very similar to Bone Breakers who come into this 16, 1 and 1 in the postseason as well. And the regular season currently 26, 5 and 1. These two teams are unbelievable at this game. They've battled hard to get to the finals here, where they'll be battling for 900 euros in first place, but none. Not a problem. Second place will go home for 700 euros. Not a bad consolation prize at all. Both of which are being promoted to the ECL Pro next season. Now, Hexa Esports comes in. Uh, like I said, first place in Group 1. Um, they are the three seed in the playoffs and they've battled all the way through. You can see the playoff tree here. Uh, Bone Breakers took out Finnish Roosters and almost famous to get to these finals. Um, we have Hexa Esports on the other side of the bracket. They took out Videlma and Neptune Hockey. Neptune Hockey had a very hard fought victory, three to zero in the bronze match against Almost Famous, so shout out to them. They have also been promoted to the Pro League next season. Now, what do we think this lineup is going to look like for the game? The players are all set. The team matchup, as I mentioned, is unbelievably close in stats. Goals for, uh, for both teams is only different by one singular goal. The goals against are a little different. Bone Breakers have taken uh, five more goals, um, but it's still so close. I mean, five goals really could be all that scored today. Both goaltenders look great. The only difference that I see here on the long list of stats are... The power play totals, 35.29% for Bone Breakers, 15.63% for Hexa Esports. But is that really going to matter? When we look at the penalty kill, Hexa Esports has a much higher penalty kill percentage, over 10%. We're looking at 13.2% higher for their penalty kill. So what they lack in the power play, they bring back in the penalty kill. Again, I mentioned at the very beginning of this stream, the records are both 13-3-1 and one let's take a look at these lineups these players are excited to play and i can't wait to show you and tell you guys a little bit about these guys now looking first at bone breakers um these guys have done so much in terms of the scoring category Bobby, who is in the top three of all scorers for the regular season and postseason has 47 goals and 50 assists to total 97 points in that regular season and valet also has 84 points. Not quite in the top five, but an unbelievable stat to mark uh, indeed. 27 goals for him, 57 assists coming in. And uh, I'll tell you what, the Hexa's strong defense might have some troubles here if they cannot contain these guys early on and throughout the entire series. We look at the goals against four bone breakers. A great job up to this point for Ransu, who has an average of 1.91 goals against in the regular season. He's improved that just a bit here coming into the postseason, but still a great stat line nonetheless. 83.99 save percentage, and in like I said, in the postseason, a little bit better, a 1.75 average goals against. Now, we look over to the goaltender of Hexa. Bone Breakers goaltender, uh, 52%. And uh, Hexa Esports at 52, 47 to 52, my apologies. Um, look, there's so much going on here. We take a look over at the Hexa side of things now. Um, we're looking here. We're looking here at 
the, I believe these are the centers. Yeah, these are the centers. Um, we are looking at CMB versus Vai. Um, Vale, my apologies, both have 18 games played. Vale has found the stat sheet a lot more in terms of goals, but the assists reigning in for CMB. Points for both of them, 42 to 43. Very even across the board. A very big playmaker in CMB and a very big goal scorer in Vale. Face-off percentage is a little different. We have 4% different, which might not seem like a lot on paper, but it could reflect heavily if they've practiced coming into this matchup. Let's take a look here at the left wing. Um, we are moving in versus... Uh, sorry, yeah, we're going into the wingers. We have left wing and the right wing for Hexa Esports on the left. 18 games played for both of these players, as well as both wingers for um, the Bone Breakers. 20 goals for Bobby, 19 goals for Alupekas. That totals 39 goals. We look at the other side of the board here for Hexa Esports. 22 goals for Adrian and 26 goals for Sammy. That right there is totaling 48. Money, more goals for the wingers on the left side of the ice. That does make up for the struggling category of scoring goal for the center that we saw just a second ago. So we now know where all of his assists are coming from. A very physical game from both sides, both teams totaling over 100 hits. We take a look now at the defenseman. Defensemen coming in this game, we have Thomas and Max for Hexa Esports. Again, both 18 games played. On the other side of the ice, we have Jordan and Mika. Now, we look at Mika. Mika's the first person that we saw that doesn't have 18 games played. He's missed seven of them. He only has 11 played. Will this be a factor for the defense, a gap that Hexa Esports can attack and try and expose maybe even a little bit uh, the lacking points here coming in of Mika as he hasn't played as many games? Is he ready for the offense that Hexa Esports brings to the table? We will find out for sure. We see a ton of hits in Jordan's stat line, and I'm just so unbelievably interested to see if Hexa Esports tries to expose this hole in the defense of Bone Breakers. We take a look now at the goalies. The trusty last line, if you will, of the only people that are going to stop this puck from going in the net, if the defenseman can't. 18 games played both sides. Save percentage is so unbelievably close within one percentage of each other. Goals against average is currently 1.67 for Hexa Esports. That's Jeffrey. And we look at 1.94 average goals against for Mika on the Bone Breakers. Both of these guys have experienced what it feels like to have a shutout victory, something a lot of goalies do not feel very early on in their career. So these guys seem to be able to lock it down when their team needs them the most. Both of them have three and two shutouts. So neither guy has only felt it one time. He knows what it's like. They're experienced. They're ready to make it happen again. We look at their records. As mentioned earlier, we said 16-1-1, one and, one, and both of these goaltenders have played in all of those games. As I mentioned earlier, prize pool is everything. These guys have gotten to the top of the line and they're not being stopped anytime soon. That third place bronze match won 500 euros. Second place is going to win 700 euros. And first place will take home 900 euros. They've fought so hard to be here. As mentioned, the top three teams both being promoted, sorry, all three being promoted to the pro league next season for the ECL. So we look forward to see if they can continue their success from the core season into their pro season, and we wish them nothing but the best of luck moving forward. We go back to the team matchup again. Don't forget how unbelievably close this game may be. I've done my research, and the only stat line that I can see that we really need to keep an eye on is maybe that face-off percentage. As mentioned, the power play kill is so, so big for Hexa Esports, where they struggle in scoring on the power play. They are going to try and lock it down and not take any goals against on their penalty kill. We are looking forward to get this game going. The players are in the lobby. They're unbelievably excited and ready to go. And I personally could not be more excited than I am. It's been hours throughout the day looking forward to what we're getting ready to go to. And these guys are locked in. Looks like they're both representing the Boston Bruins jersey. So we'll see if they can represent to the best of their ability a great team right now performing in the NHL. Will both of these teams also be a very strong performing team today?
here we go. The finals for the ECL Elite will be held on Friday, February 23rd. Do not forget at 1900 CET, Tunnel Vision, the number one seed, takes on the H-Reds on the other side, the four seed. We go now to the game. Here we go. The players are on the ice, the glow sticks are in the air, and we are going to a massive first face-off. This one taken by Hexa Esports. This is going to be Tromi taking the puck across the red line. He's the first person to send a pass across the blue. A bunch of poke checks. We're just 45 seconds into this first period, and Hexa Esports have a goal on the board. Could this be a tone setter? Will Bone Breakers be able to bounce back? Were they prepared for an onslaught this early on? Unbelievable pass here through three defenders. Somehow finds the tape of that right wing player. A big goal here. And we go back to the faceoff circle. It feels like the game just started. Here we go. This one is again won by Hexa Esports. Tommy over to Tromi. And now Tromi over to CMB. CMB regrouping with his co-teammates in their own blue zone. And now we have a little bit of an interception in the blue zone from Bonebreakers. A big pass here opens up the right side of the net, but he just can't find it. Shoots it wide, and now we go the other way. Puck on the tape of Hexa Esports right now. D to D over to Tromi. Tromi moves it up to Emosi. Back to Tome. Thomas to CMB. CMB back to Tromi. Some great puck work here. Now Amosi crosses the blue line, and he's going to be met by the defenseman now of Bone Breakers. Wicks taking it the other way. A long pass up to that right wing. And now a pass behind the net to Caffell. Caffell takes a wrist shot that's blocked by the defenseman here. And that's Thomas. Credit him for a block and also picking up the puck in his defensive end. Now they move the other way. We have a two-on-two -two opportunity here. Adrief looking for a backhand pass that gets cut off in front of that goaltender. And now it is Bone Breakers in possession yet again. Valet crossing the blue line. Very close to an offsides call there. But they're able to make it happen. Here's a wrist shot that goes off the right post and in. I believe that one might have hit the back of the goaltender before crossing that goal line. And we're going to be tied up here very early on. Volterra is credited for the first goal in the game here for the Bone Breakers. And now, we're almost halfway through the first period. Both teams have found the back of the net. Here we go. Emosi moving a D to D. Adrif looking for a wrist pass in front of the net, but it's not going to go. A poke check comes out now. And it's Bone Breakers with a one-timer across the crease. Caffelli going to be on the board. Two to one. We have an absolute goal fest as far as I can see. What I didn't expect to be a very high-scoring game, we've already seen three goals in this one. The first period has been electric. Will the entire game be this way? I'm unbelievably curious to see if these guys can keep the aggression going. Both teams have fantastic defenses coming in to this game. Hex's strong defense. We wondered if they would have troubles against the big performing offense that Bone Breakers brings with Bobby on 97 points and Valet with 84 points. And they are having a little bit of trouble here. They had an early lead, but they very quickly lost it. And we're going to see if Hexa Esports can regain control of this game. That's two unanswered goals right now. Here's a wrist shot that's blocked by the goaltender of the Bone Breakers. Going the other way now. Valet up to Caffell. Now Emosi with an interception. A long pass up to Adrif who gets poke checked in mid. CMB now going to take control of it. They're in their offensive zone. Here's a pass that nearly finds the tape of that right wing attacker. But a great leg pad save here from the goaltender of Bone Breakers. Here we go. Wicks has control for a second. But unfortunately loses control to a poke check. But a great job from Bone Breakers to regain here. Here's a pass over to Valet. Valet over to the right wing. Right wing back to behind the net. Passes out to the point. Caffelli now with control. A one-timer opportunity from the blue line here is routinely saved 
by the Hexa Esports goaltender. Passed out now to CMB who's taking it the other way. Adrif now moving in past two defenders. Still has control somehow. And that's Bob Capitano who's going to finally get his name on the board with a big block there. Moving it out now to Vale. And Vale is going to get poke checked. And the puck will be stripped and picked up by Tomi. Here we go now. Looking for an opportunity to drive through that lane is cut off by Hexa Esports. And now Wicks moving it up to Capitano. Caffelli looking for an opportunity. My apologies, that's Bobby. Crummy now with control, passing it up to CMB. Now Amosi, he's moving the puck yet again. Some great puck movement here down low. A one-timer opportunity nearly finds the back of the net. But a big, big save here. Oh my gosh, another shot goes wide. That one doesn't find it either. Here's Tromi now with a wrister. Now Amosi to the front of the net. Another shot. Unbelievable ending here to the first period. Tons of shots, but no goals there at the end for Hexa. Credit Navala for the play of the period. With this unbelievable check. Unbelievably interested and curious as to how that player got up after a bone crushing hit like that. But we move to the first intermission. Here is a replay of that opening goal that somehow found the back of the net. Fast forward to the first shot that the Brome Breakers scored there. A quick little wrist shot out of the right center. And now this being the cross crease one-timer that we saw to be their second goal scored. So that's what brought us to the 2-1 to -one score line that we currently sit at now. Here we go. Face-off underway here for the second period. And we are moving into this one very quickly. Hexa Esports with control of the puck, but it's quickly shifted now as the puck is moving the other way to Vale. Vale with a breakaway goes to the backhand but gets poke checked. Vale now with control again after he takes the pass from the right wing here of the Bone Breakers. Great defensive recovery here. Adrif now going to be moving the other way. Nearly a two on one opportunity, but a great physical move to get the puck off of that attacker's stick. And now Caffelli is going to be controlling this one. Bobby. My gosh, my apologies. Here we go. Vale now moving this puck. Looking for a pass to the point, but it's a little off target. And this one's going all the way back to the Bone Breakers defensive zone. Now a big clear comes out. Nobody touches it. Crosses all of the lines. And we're going to get an icing call. We will see a face-off here in the zone of the Bone Breakers. Will Hexa be able to win this one and get a shot opportunity? We will find out. Here it is. Nearly goes. But a great save here. From that Bone Breakers goaltender. He's looked so good up to this point. And now Adrif with control. Going to get checked out. And Wix picks this thing up. Vale back to Wix. And Wix is going to carry it across the red. Looking for a pass to his left wing. But it goes a little wide. So we have a little bit of a dump and chase. That is not won by the Bone Breakers. So Thomas picks this thing up in his own end. Thomas now to Tromi. Tromi spinning across the blue line. But we have a little bit of excitement up front. And an offsides is called. That is the first offsides we've seen in this game. Both teams know how to play that blue line. They know the speed at which that they can cross. And they've done so good at controlling that whistle up to this point. No power plays yet either, I'd like to add. Here's Vale with a breakaway. That speed is there. Looking for maybe a five-hole opportunity. Never left the forehand. But nonetheless, he does not capitalize. Here's Amosi going the other way. Amosi nearly picking up his own rebound and putting it in. But a little too much speed. He's past that goal line. Before taking a second shot. Here's Bobby. Passing behind the net that goes a little too far. And it's going to be Adrif picking it up before passing it to Amosi who has a breakaway. Amosi to the backhand is poke checked. A great job all around. Vale now. We have some back and forth action for the first time in this game. There's a big pass there that goes wide of his target. And now Amosi to Tromi yet again. We've seen these two regroup with each other in the defensive zone. Time and time again. Here's a big cutoff pass. But not to worry. Amosi's there to save the day. The defensemen of Hexa Esports looking so good together right now. The dynamic duo coming into this game as a big defensive factor 
for Hexa Esports. They're regrouping in their defensive zone beautifully and time and time again are moving that puck left, right, and center to keep it off of the attacking tape of the BOB attackers. Here we go now. CMB moving it over to his defenseman, Tom C. Thomas over to Tromi now. Tromi to Omosi. Here we go. A big poke check, and we have a one-on-two opportunity. Slides past one defender. It's a one-on-one, -on -one, but he moves it back to Vale, who's in the slot. Vale takes a wrist shot. That is blocked by Tromi. Tromi now moving it back to his defenseman. And now passed up to Adrif before going to Omosi. Now to Thomas. We see some good puck movement, but this one doesn't go. Block shots. The Bone Breakers have block shots left, right, and center. Here's a block shot. Caffelli has an opportunity. He's moving down. Goes to the forehand. Shoots, and he scores. Bobby going to find his first goal of the game. The assistant captain sniping that top right corner on his breakaway after blocking his shot. A one-man show here late in the second period. A great block shot. Way to hold down the slot. And then to move past that defender. You see here the forehand, backhand, forehand. Takes the goalie clean out of the crease. And a big shot comes out here as they're able to get a little bit of a comfortable lead now. An insurance goal, if you will. They've scored three unanswered. Hexa Esports need to find their response soon if they look to keep game number one as close or in their control as they can. Here we go. Bobby with a pass now to the slot. This one is blocked away. A big battle down low behind the net. It results in Capitano with the puck. Wicks now taking a wrist shot, but a great leg pad save here from Neo. Thomas now moving this thing out. The puck crosses their own blue. Now crosses the next blue line. Very quick movement across center. Adrif with control is looking for a passing option. He moves it down low. Emosi picks it up, but it's checked out. Now Capitano going the other way. Here's Valle. Valle looking for a wrist shot out of that right circle. His options are closed up. A pass to the slot here. And then a shot that's blocked very quickly. CMB. Hoping he can make something happen here in the last minute of the second period. CMB looking for a pass. This one is bodied off. Caffelli with a great physical play. Here's a pickup for CMB at the blue line. He's poke checked. And now Adrif wins the foot race over to Amosi who takes a wrist shot. A big save here from the Bone Breakers tender. Great job all around play of the period credited to Jordan beautiful job here to this point the physical play at the blue line for the bone breakers shows why they've earned the name the bone breakers if they can't lay the body on you and get that puck out they will poke check as best they can we see a very close stat line yet again one goal scored in this period from the Bone Breakers. Again, it's Bobby with a blocked shot before moving up, taking it forehand, backhand, forehand. That Hexa goaltender out of the crease opens up an easy wrist shot into the top right-hand corner. Shots on net. Bone Breakers currently have this one by one. You'd think the scoreline would be a little closer, seeing as there's only one difference in the shots on net category. The goaltender here from Hexa... Probably not performing to what he had hoped, but they have two more games here and the rest of this third period to regain control. And Mosi here with an opportunity goes for a cross crease pass that nearly finds the back of the net. An unbelievable save now from that goaltender. Here we go. Amosi behind the net, moving it to Thomas. Thomas now regaining. Things have slowed down a little bit. A big poke check here. He's able to cross the blue line. Does he have the step he needs? No, he does not. Tries to go for a spinorama before taking a rip, but does not find the hole. A great save and a great block from the defenseman. I'm not even sure there was a lane for him to shoot through there. Here we go. Face off in the offensive zone for Bone Breakers. Is one. Passed up. Back to the point to Wicks. Wicks now down low to Caffelli. Bobby's there to poke check, and he picks it up. Passes it to Vale. Vale takes a rip, but it does not find the net. Here we go. A pass behind the net. Bobby looking for a wraparound goal. It doesn't go. Credit Neo for yet another save.
All right, face-off is underway. Here's the wrist shot in a crowded location that does not find its way through. Big check here, opens up the puck. Nearly going the other way for Hexa Esports. We almost saw a breakaway. Instead, we see one somehow. Bobby finds a gap in the defense of Hexa. A large attendance here of fish somehow flying out of the crowd. An unbelievable breakaway for here from Bobby. Four people around that blue line. He somehow breaks through, has a large step, and is able to put a wrist shot in. Now another pass up to Vale. Vale with a pass across the crease. This one's going to be Alu Pekka's. He finds his first goal. And now we are raining goals for the Bone Breakers. They came to play early on. They conceded first in this game, but have not conceded since. Unbelievable. We now look at a score line that reads 5-1 to one for the Bone Breakers. 13 minutes of game time now for Hexa to regain control and somehow bring this thing back. It's not over until it's over. As UNHL and EASHL fans know, here's the puck that somehow slides all the way to the net and nearly finds the back of it. But a great recovery here from Bone Breakers. Vale going to cross the blue line, passing it over to Bobby. Vale takes a rip now from this slot, and he finds the top left corner. I believe this is one of the only goals that have found the left side of the net today. Bone Breakers door to target that glove side. Now we go blocker side. And this one still finds the back of the net. The Bone Breakers now are really just letting it rain. Alupeka doing so well to move that puck around, helping his teammates find scoring opportunities. And now we go back to the circle. A face-off circle we've become so used to seeing in the third period. Bone Breakers wins yet another face-off. Here's the Wicks now, moving it across the blue line over to Caffelli. Caffelli passing down low for a little bit of a dump and chase, but Thomas wins the race and now he's going the other way. Thomas moving it up to CMB. CMB looking for a pass in the slot. That's cut off by the Bone Breakers. Here's Capitano to Wicks. Back to Capitano. Capitano up to Alopeca. Alopeca is going to get stripped, but his teammate Capitano is there to pick it up. Passes it down low to Bobby. And now Bobby to CMB. CMB moving it the other way, trying to move it to Amosi, but a big back check now finds the tape of Caffelli, and we have an offsides called now on the Bone Breakers. Face off here, just outside of the zone. Bone Breakers going to win this one as well. Capitano, D to D over to Wicks. Wicks moves it up to Bobby. Bobby checked the blue line, but Vale is able to pick it up. Now moving the puck down low. Thomas here with a big strip of that last attacker. He moves it to his defensive man. That's Tromi. Up to CMB. CMB looking for a passing option. A big tie up here in the defensive zone from the Bone Breakers. They've showed that not only are they a big force in the offensive zone, but they're here and they have presence in their defensive zone as well. A big bone crushing hit here coming out with just five minutes left. Luckily, no injuries on the ice. We have a whistle now in the defensive zone of the Bone Breakers. Thomas at the blue line with control, moves it into the slot. This one's picked up by Caffelli. He's checked and loses control. Now it's Amosi moving it down low to Adrif. Adrif looking for a wrist shot, but he's poked out. And now we have our very first power play of the game. Hexa Esports are on the power play. We saw in the stat line before the game started, they struggle a little bit to put the puck in the back of the net. I shouldn't say they struggle. They just don't have the power play percentage that Bone Breakers have. Bone Breakers struggled, however, in the penalty kill percentage slot so we'll see if they can make it happen is it too little too late even if hexa puts a goal in we will find out there's still three minutes to be played we're now moving at a considerably slower speed and cmb now moving the puck to thomas thomas to a with a big wrist shot this one bounces really far out 
nearly out of the zone. But a big puck pickup here now. A defensive turnover from Bone Breakers. Will it open an opportunity? CMB looking for a one-timer setup. But it does not go. Wicks now moving this thing out. A big clear. That's going to be time ticked off. And that will end the power play. Seems like it might have been a little bit of unfortunate timing. The power play ended just seconds before that puck cleared out, so we have an icing call. And CMB's going to win an offensive zone faceoff. Tries to take a wrist shot. This one's blocked by Capitano. Capitano has been a force in front of his net this game. So many blocked shots, proving to be the goalie's best friend in this matchup. Here's a five-hole pass. Navale moving this thing over to Alupeka. Adrif going to be intercepted here by Caffelli, but Thomas is there to pick it up. A tripping call is going to come out here, and Hex is going to find themselves on another power play opportunity. It's going to be an offensive zone faceoff opportunity for Hexa Esports. Unfortunately, they don't win it. Wicks trying to take this thing the other way, but a big check here is going to allow CMB to pick up the puck before moving it down low. Capitano with a big interception. He's going to clear this thing out. And we are going to end the third period. Ladies and gentlemen, Bone Breakers came to play. They started this game strong, and they ended this game strong. Three goals scored in that third period. They absolutely let it rain late in this game. 6-1 to one, the scoreline of this first game here. Play of the game credited to Hatala of the Bone Breakers. This big, big breakaway. A wrist shot to the top right corner. And my golly, was that a beauty. I have no clue how he got the burst of speed that he did moving into the zone. But a beautiful play nonetheless. The goaltender not expecting as quick a shot as he received on that glove side. The mascot and the players here celebrating their win. They are up 1-0 in this series. Alrighty, here we go. We look at the post-game stats. Bobby, an unbelievable showing here. Three goals, one assist. We look at the team totals. Shots on target, 14 to 12. Bone Breakers had that one. If you look in the top right corner, if you're confused about the scoreboards, don't be confused. The 6-1 to one score line remains for game number one. That is the total for the series in the top right. Here was the opening goal. If you look very closely, it might have even been an own goal for the Bone Breakers. A great job at recovering themselves, obviously. You fast forward to the final product, and they take home a 6-1 to one victory. Their first goal here, a beautiful one-timer from behind the net. A beautiful wrist shot, just barely finding the inside of that post. Looks like to have gone off of that goalie glove. We go now. To another Bone Breakers goal. This one was the backhand pass across the crease. A little bit of a one-timer as well. Beautiful forehand. I'm not sure how that left-wing attacker kept control of the puck as it was between the defenseman's legs. Doing everything he can just wasn't enough. Here's a big, big breakaway. The backhand to the forehand finds the top right corner. Here is yet another goal. So many to choose from from the Bone Breakers. This is the speed that I was talking about. Through three defenders who were all within two feet of that blue line cross. Somehow finds the back of the net. A beautiful job all around. The Bone Breakers set a precedent in this game. A little bit of a rebound. That was the only one that went to the blocker side. The Bone Breakers take game number one. Six to one. An unbelievable showing. It's not like it was close at all. They conceded first. Maybe a little bit of worry early on. Wondering if they're going to be able to bounce back. Hexa really could have continued the onslaught that they brought very early. But it just didn't happen. Proving that it might have been a little bit of a lucky break. We look now at the postseason chats that these guys might be having. If you're Hexa Esports, you need to find a way to take control in your defensive zone. It seemed as though every time they were in the defensive zone, maybe they weren't able to get the puck off of the attacker's sticks. And we saw some great movement left, right, and center from the Bone Breakers. 
They just have to fill those gaps up a little more, fill the lane, throw some blocks out in front of the net. The Bone Breakers were doing so good at blocking shots. Hexa just needs to do the same. We go to break. When we return, game number two. Tonne no. Pidässä. Onpa vaikea. Tuoja, tuohoja. Kis, kis. Ilmoittaudu mukaan EHOKI SM-kisoihin. Yksi vastaa yksi tai kuusi vastaa kuusi joukkuekisoihin. Mm. Näin se oli ihan nättiä niin oikeasti pelattu. Minkä päällä lakukastike maistuu parhaalta? Ei voi tietää ellei kokeile. Kouvolan lakritsi. Minkä päällä lakukastike maistuu parhaalta? Ei voi tietää, ellei kokeile. Kouvolan lakritsi. Kuka kuka? Tonne no. Pidässä. Onpa vaikea. Tuoja, tuohoja. Kis, kis. Ilmoittaudu mukaan EHOKI SM-kisoihin. Yksi vastaa yksi tai kuusi vastaa kuusi joukkuekisoihin. Mm. Näin se oli ihan nättiä niin oikeasti pelattu. Welcome back, everybody. We are getting ready for game number two. An interesting showing in game number one. Your bone breakers are taking that first one six to one. 
we are looking for a little bit of a different outcome if you're a Hexa Esports fan. Uh, a little bit of a, some, some background information. We, we mentioned Thomas and Trio at the, or sorry, Thomas and Tromi at the beginning of the game. Being a dynamic duo, leading the league in points and block shots, it just wasn't there in the first game. Maybe they have a little bit of a, con uh, of a connection and communication in between these games and they look to have a better showing. That Hexa penalty kill remains huge. They didn't take any penalties against in the previous game, so we have yet to see that. But now, we are ready to go. Bonebreakers win this one. Capitano moving this thing up to Vale. Vale back to Capitano. Here is Alupecas being checked and losing control. Now Thomas up to Adrif. Adrif moving this thing into the slot. But a big pickup here by Alupecas who moves it to Vale. Big pass move here to Bobby. Bobby with a wraparound backhand. He finds the five hole. A very quick goal again for Hexa Esports. Or my apologies, no. This is Bone Breakers. Bone Breakers were the first people to open this one up. My apologies. Here is a beautiful way to receive the pass through the five hole of himself and moves it to the five hole of the goaltender on that backhand wrap. A beautiful job. Bonebreakers find the opening goal here. And they're getting ready to take it back to the face-off circle. A beautiful job all around. Hatala is credited for the first one. Tromi now with control, looking for a pass up to his attacker, but it doesn't go. Wix is going to pick this thing up, moving it to Capitano. Capitano back to Wix. Wix moving this thing up. He's going to be intercepted. And now Thomas... Moving it the other way. One of the defensemen we talked about in the beginning of the game, moving it to Tromi. The other defenseman we mentioned, they're going to get called for offsides as the attackers were a little too eager to get going. Bonebreakers' points have become a problem and a big painstaking dagger in the scoreline here for Hexa Esports. We knew that there might have been a problem early on. We mentioned Bobby and Vale connecting time and time again. 97 points coming into this game for Bobby and Vale. 84 points coming into this game. That being regular season stats. And they have carried their success into the postseason. Thomas with control of this one. Moving it down low to Amosi. Amosi back to Tromi. Tromi taking a wrist shot that's deflected, but still nearly finds the back of the net. A little bit of a redirect opportunity. Just barely wide. Here we go. A wrist shot. This one's blocked away. The rebound's picked up by Tromi. Tromi now to Amosi. Amosi to CMB. And a big pickup here by Capitano. Capitano moves this thing to Alupecas. Alupecas to Bobi. Bobby poke check down low. It's still picked up by Vale. Vale over to Alupekas, who takes a rip at the blocker side. A big save here by Neo. Here's Wicks with control, crossing the blue line. Wicks looking for a pass. Does a little bit of a spinorama. It's poke checked, and now Tromi's going the other way. We have a two-on-two -two opportunity. A Drief with control past one defender. Gets shouldered off, and now loses control. Here we go. Capitano. Up to Vale. Vale, a pass up to Bobby trying to cross the blue line. But a stop at speed of the puck thanks to the skate of a Hexa defenseman. Kills the momentum. And we have an offsides call and what seems to be a little bit of a timeout. Take a look back at that first goal here for the Bone Breakers. A pass around the boards behind the net is picked up and then very quickly taken to the backhand and five hole of the goaltender. Very quick, very early on. Hexa Esports came out very early on in game number one and scored that quick goal. Bonebreakers wasn't about to let that happen this game. They are the ones that put the aggression on very quickly. Here we go. Amosi with control of this thing for Hexa Esports. In his defensive end, moving it over to Tromi. Tromi keeps it, moves it in, takes a shot. This one is denied by Wix in the slot. Wix with a long pass up to Bobby. Bobby pass both defenders. A back pass. Fine. Back 
of the net. Vale takes a beautiful drop pass from Bobby. It opens things wide up. The goaltender fully expecting Bobby to shoot on this breakaway. Instead, he drops it to Vale, and Vale has the entirety of the net to shoot at. Oh my gosh, what a beautiful play. The long pass up the left side of the ice, the drop pass in front of the net, and the absolute dagger of a shot. We have a 2-0 lead here for the Bone Breakers very early in the second period. Or my apologies, late in the first period. The timeout threw me off. Here's Adrif now with control in his offensive zone. Hexa Esports really struggling to get it done here today. They need to regain. They need to figure out a way to break down that Bone Breakers defense. Alu Pekas just took it by himself. Backhand to forehand through three defenders and finds the back of the net. Not a fast shot whatsoever. It really just trickled in there. I don't believe Neo was expecting that puck to leave the tape of the stick. A little bit of a fake shot almost. As you see that puck just glide through the five hole. He didn't drop to the butterfly. And that's what happens when you're not prepared for a shot down low. Three to zero here in just the first period. Bone Breakers came to play. They've prepped all week for this moment and their hard work is paying off. Here's Amosi with a big interception down low. Unfortunately loses control and now we see another long pass. Very similar than the previous goal up to Bobby, but he's not able to make a great play like he did previously. Adrif now moving it to CMB. CMB looking for a pass over his attacker. But a big interception and now Vale going to regain control in his defensive zone. Drops it to Wicks. Wicks moving up. Wicks crossing the blue line. Wicks passing behind the net. This one's going to be picked up as it's ran all the way across the boards by Thomas. And now Thomas passes up to Amosi. Amosi to CMB. CMB, cross crease pass. This one's leg padded away. Vale moving up. Thomas intercepted, moves the Tromi, and we're going the opposite direction yet again. Back and forth play, left, right, and center. We have a little bit of a break in play now as Hexa looks for a long pass that doesn't find its intended target. So they're now in their defensive zone. An unbelievable shout out to Ronsu at this point in the game. Has not conceded a single point in this first period. And if you look at the entirety of last game, he only took one goal. Here's a breakaway that's shut down quickly by the defense of Hexa Esports. That's what they need to start doing throughout the entirety of the game if they want to keep this one anywhere close. Play of the period credited to Hatala. A big bone crushing hit at the blue line. Bone breakers. As I said in the first game, proving why they are called the bone breakers a very very physical game for them we look at their postseason hits 45 hits here for alu pekas he seems to be the person with the most hits on this roster 90 hits my apologies jordan nhl 90 hits in the postseason my god some beautiful dangles coming out here as that player dangles his way to the back of the net. We're looking to enter the second period. Here we go. Hexa Esports win the faceoff. Taking a wrist shot here, but it's blocked by his own player. A little bit of a miscommunication. And now Bobby moving the other way. Bobby with a pass that's picked up by himself. Should have been picked up by a Hexa defender, but somehow they can't contain it. And now Tromi finally moving this thing into their offensive zone. No ice and call as he passed the red line. Here is Bobby moving this thing up. Tromi looking for his defender. Finds Amosi back to Tromi. Tromi back to Amosi. Amosi across the blue line. Amosi looking for a pass. Amosi does not go. What an unbelievable interception here from Capitano in the slot. Locking things down. He's one of the big reasons Hexa can't find the back of the net or much less a single scoring opportunity. CMB now looking for a wrist shot. Bobby now picking it up. Hexa Esports. They're doing so well at getting the puck into their attacking zone, but they just can't capitalize. The puck movement isn't there. Missed opportunities like that one right there. It doesn't. It's a pass that doesn't find a target. They've had passes go back into their defensive zone. 
They just can't find good scoring opportunities. All the lanes are clogged up by the Bone Breakers defensemen. And you gotta imagine, the shots that they're taking, they seem the same every time they enter the zone. It's just not working. I'd love to see some shots from different areas of the ice. Maybe some passes from behind the net. Maybe some slap shots from the point. Things that might find their way through. We saw a deflection shot earlier that nearly found the back of the net just wide. And you gotta imagine, they just have to take different shots that bone breakers aren't used to seeing. Here we go. Hexa Esports winning this defensive zone faceoff. It's huge. Huge opportunity for them here as they pass it out to Thomas. Thomas going to cross the blue line, passing it up the ice, but it's intercepted by Wicks time and time again. The pass percentage just struggling here for Hexa Esports. A big sidestep from the Bone Breakers attacker looking for a cross crease pass. That was Alupekas with a great move. Looking for Bobby. Unbelievable physical game here. Hexa Esports just can't seem to stay on their skates. We go back to the face-off circle in the defensive zone of Hexa Esports. They won the last one here. And they win this one as well. A tie-up picked up by Thomas before moving it to Tromi. But an interception went in the neutral zone. And Bone Breakers find themselves with control yet again. Here's a big interception down low. Bobby. Oh my gosh, that move was filthy. But he couldn't find the back of the net. Here's Vale looking for a pass. This one's picked up by Tromi. There's a little bit of the defensive showing we were expecting from a player of his caliber. Tromi in control now in the offensive zone. Looking for a defensive pass that's intercepted. But he's able to take the puck back before moving it to Thomas. Thomas now to CMB. CMB to Tromi. Tromi with a sidestep pass one defender. A sidestep pass another defender. Tromi dangling around defenders here in their offensive zone. Moving into a dream. Who takes a rich shot? And we have a Hexa Esports goal. They're finally on the board here in the second period. Oh my gosh. What a rifle to the top right corner. Side steps left, right, and center. Romy doing such a beautiful job of opening up an opportunity. Slides it to Adrif. Adrif takes a shot. And wow, what a beautiful job here from Tromi. Beautiful shot. Unbelievable speed. And you gotta imagine Hexa Esports is feeling pretty good now. They're still down by two. But the fact that they were able to find the net... For the first time all game, might open up a little bit of morale opportunity. Some momentum. That might be stopped short if they can't stop this rush here. Vale with control to Bobby behind the net. Bobby with a wrist shot. This one's picked up. A great save here from Neo. And now Thomas moving the other way. Bobby with an interception moves it to Wicks. Back in the defensive zone. Great puck movement. They're setting up their play as they push forward. Bobby, unfortunately... Offsides as he receives that pass. These guys are just too eager to get into their offensive zone. Ladies and gentlemen, we've seen a hole in Ransu's game. Maybe some shots out of the right wing. Or my apologies, the left wing of Hexa Esports is the answer. That's a very rare shot for them to shoot from. And as I mentioned, you got to take shots from somewhere here. You haven't shown them shots 100 times again. Ransu only conceding second in this entire series up to this point. He's doing so unbelievably well. And now Wicks. Going to be picked off by CMB. CMB to Amosi. Amosi to CMB. We have a penalty call awaiting here. Hexa Esports doing a great job of keeping control of this puck. They have a skater now, an extra skater in the offensive zone. Thomas over to Tromi. Tromi down low to Amosi. Amosi around a defender. Back to the point to Tromi. Tromi to Thomas. Thomas! Over to CMB, CMB to Amosi. Great puck movement here. This is what we needed from Hexa Esports. There's a one-timer that nearly finds the back of the net. Oh my gosh, Ransu just absolutely clutched up huge for the Bone Breakers. The puck movement that we haven't seen from Hexa all series just showed up massive. I'm not sure at all how that desperation saved was a successful one but nonetheless we have a power play opportunity here for hexa esports hexa esports scoring on 15 percent of their power plays in the playoffs 
not as high as you'd like to see. But they're looking to make it a little better right now. The penalty kill unit for Bonebreaker is just 81%. There is a window of opportunity here for Hexa to bring this thing within one. Down to a minute and 20 on the power play. A big clear here from Bonebreaker. We'll take some time off of that. Five seconds left in the period. Adrif across the blue line. Moves it to Tromi. Tromi looking for a wrist shot. It doesn't go. A great leg pad save yet again from Ransu. Play of the period. Credited to Nivala. Crosses the blue line. But takes a bone crushing hit. That's Nivala there with a solid shoulder. A bone breaker. In Nivala, if you will. And we are going to the second intermission. Three to one. Your bone breakers are leading. They're looking to make this series two to zero. We look at the replay now of that beautiful shot out of the right circle. Not touched at all on the way through, just barely over that left leg pad of Ransu. And that all started from a great effort by Tromi moving around in his offensive zone. Shots on target here, 6-7, to seven, very even, very even. Neo, maybe not performing to the best of his ability, but he's looking to show how he maintained those seven shutouts in the regular season, three in the postseason. He's looking to get a save percentage back on track. He has an 83% save percentage in the regular season and has improved in the postseason to an 87% but just not showing how he can make that happen yet in this series. A little groggy from getting off the bus, maybe. <laughs> we look forward to see if he can regain and keep his game close. They are not out of this thing at all. We have an entire period, just two goals for them to tie this thing up, and they're currently on the power play. Exit Esports with a big offensive zone faceoff win. Bobby, though, with an even bigger interception, and he's trying to take this thing the other way. Slows things down. Throws the puck into the zone, but he wasn't across the red line, so we have a whistle for icing. We go back in to the offensive zone for Hexa Esports. Here we go. Face-off zone owned now by Hexa Esports. There's the puck move we were looking for. Oh, my gosh. I mentioned earlier puck movement was a struggle for Hexa Esports early on in this game, but here we see a quick... A very quick tic-tac-toe goal from the point down low, circle to circle, one-timer slapper into the corner. Emosi over to Adrif. And that is a beautiful goal. Hexa Esports were not capitalizing very well at all early in this game. Only one goal in the first game, but now they are showing that they are here to play. They are here to play. They were having a lot of solo opportunities where they carried the puck in the zone. Maybe some lousy wrist shot opportunities. They're learning that puck movement is how you beat Ransu. Such a solid goaltender like himself. Not easy to read the puck movement speed. Here we go. Thomas able to pick this thing up. I'd like to shout out these defenders. Thomas and Tromi showing up huge here. Halfway through game number two. We were wondering where they were going to be. They were the dynamic duo in the regular season. And they're showing up big. Playmakers down low and big defensemen in their own zone. And now we're seeing poke checks and bodies. And man, we haven't seen Hexa Esports this good all series. Here's a big opportunity. But it's shut down by that Hexa Esports defense. Adrif. Now moving the puck to CMB, it's a 2 on 0 CMB with a pass, there's the one-timer that ties things up at three. Look at him break it down. Look at the moves, he's excited. They've tied this thing up at three. What was once three to zero, three unanswered goals. Now, we have a deadlock game in the third period. They didn't like their showing in game number one, but they're here to make something happen in game number two. What a beautiful job. A long pass onto the tape of CMB. CMB, a pass over cross crease. What a beautiful job. What a beautiful job. Hexa Esports are scoring. They're lining this net up. They need to keep it up. 
to tie this series up. We've seen the puck in their control more often than we've seen it in the bone breakers control. And as you can imagine, that's opened the door for more opportunities. You can't score unless you have possession of the puck. Here's Tromi crossing the blue line. They are buzzing. You can tell they're in position. They're passing beautifully. Passing percentage looking much better. Exit Esports are here to play. Valet now for Bone Breakers, passing it to Wicks. Bone Breakers trying to make something happen. They need to stop this aggression that Hexa Esports has brought to the table. The momentum that Hexa Esports has behind them right now. You have to wonder if they can put yet another goal in in these last nine and a half minutes. They want to take this lead. What a crazy comeback it would be. And how fitting to see this series tied at one if they can pull something out of their hat. Here's Vale with a big faceoff win. Nearly finds an opportunity ball on his own. Neo here saving things time and time again. Neo has, I believe, five saves in just the last minute and a half. Not only are Hexa Esports firing on the offensive front, but the defense is looking so, so, so good. Those defenders are there. A great showing here from Neo late in the game. It seems as though as soon as I started mentioning his stats, he started popping off. We nearly just saw the go-ahead goal for Hexa Esports. But a fantastic leg save. I don't even know if that was his leg pad that saved it. I believe it might have been the skate. Here we go. Tromi up to CMB. CMB loses control of the blue line. Vale now for Bone Breakers moving in the opposite direction. Capitano looking to cross the blue line. But unfortunately, Alupek is just a little too excited. And he's going to get called for offside. Here we go. Face off just outside of the offensive zone. It is lost by Bone Breakers. And now Tromi moving things the opposite direction. Wants to cross the blue line, but doesn't like the defensive read, so he backs it up and regains. Moves the puck around a little bit, and now Adrif is going to be the one that carries it across. Passes it to CMB. CMB across, Green's pass! It's not a pass! It somehow found the skate of the goaltender and finds the back of the net. Oh my gosh, that is such an unfortunate way to concede the go-ahead goal this late in the game. Looking for a cross crease pass, but it finds that skate and slides through the five hole of the goaltender. He doesn't drop to the butterfly because he's not expecting to have to. What an unrealistic angle. Anything is possible in hockey. We see people shoot off the backs of the goaltenders, but man, no one could have predicted that. If you stopped that play half a second before he shot, I'd put a lot of money on that puck not going in. But the Bone Breakers are crumbling right now. They're now going to take a penalty. We have an interference call down low. And Hexa Esports has an opportunity to put a comfortable insurance goal in the back of the net. An offensive zone faceoff here is not won by them. This is a big defensive zone faceoff win by Bone Breakers. Bobby doing a great job of stalling that time. But Tromi's able to move it to Thomas now. Thomas to Amosi. Amosi sidestepping. We have some control. This could be dangerous. Tromi with control. Moving it to Amosi. Amosi going to get poke checked. That's Wicks. Big control by Wicks and a big clear as well. He gets that puck across the blue line. And it goes all the way back to the Hexa Esports' defensive zone. Big time burned off here this penalty. 30 seconds left. Bone Breakers, their 81 percentage penalty kill really showing up big here. Emosi with control of the puck, moving it over to Thomas. Thomas now to Adrif. Adrif takes a wrist shot. This does not go. Adrif intercepting this one at the blue line, moving it to Emosi. Emosi to Adrif. Adrif to the back. And he scores yet another one. Ladies and gentlemen, 15% power play. Probably not a desirable percentage at all in the postseason for the power play unit of Hexa Esports, but it doesn't matter because it shows up big when they need it the most. That's a big backhand goal. Give that man his hat trick. That's his third of the game. And Hexa Esports are going to go up five to three. A Adrif, absolute clutch performance from the left wing here. If you are just now joining us here in the second game of this series, my, oh my, Hexa Esports have battled back from an incredible three-goal deficit. 
Just when you thought they might have been dying out in game number two, they put a goal in. Very quickly a second one. Very quickly a third one. And now they are lighting up the goal category in this third period. Just 40 seconds on the clock. It's going to take a miracle for Bone Breakers to get the puck off the tape of Hexa Esports. Here's CMB. Still letting them know that they're not giving up. This game will most likely end 5-3. to three. If Hexa Esports is showing up as good as they are in the defensive zone right now, Adrif trying to move this thing to a mostly looking for one more. Here we go, CMB with control, and we do have a penalty called on Hexa Esports. I believe it was a tripping at the blue line. Here we go. Seven seconds on the clock. Anything is possible. We've seen crazier. You never know what to expect here in the ECL. Such an exciting game this has been. Offensive zone faceoff is not won by Bone Breakers. And ladies and gentlemen, that is going to put a dagger in. But Adrif is looking for one more. One more for Adrif. He has four goals this game. That one, the nail in the coffin. The salt in the wound. The kick on the ground. Hexa Esports, give this man a raise. Give this man a raise. A Drief. Four goals in this game? Are you kidding me? An absolute showing for the young gentleman. Big backhand goal. The goaltender, realistically. I don't know if I could say he had a chance. The Drief came in with a mission. Such speed on the skates. The horn's going to sound. And Hexa Esports. They lost game number one, six to one. They turn around and they let Bone Breakers know they're not giving up just like that. We're gonna drop six goals on you and let you know that this thing is far from over. A big momentum stopper. You gotta wonder if it may have even given them momentum for game number three. They've tied up the series. Here's the play of the game. That beautiful one-timer. The pass from the point to the left wing. Back to the right wing, and my oh my. Man, Hexa Esports struggled so much to get the puck in the back and then end game number one, and even early in this game as well, they were down by three goals. That's no stat to sneeze at. Three goals. They lock in, score in the first, or sorry, score in the second twice, and then they just let it rain in that third period. They've tied the series up. We look at these stats here. 17 shots on net. 17 shots on net for Hexa Esports. Man, I am looking at the stats in front of me here, and I'm looking at the stats before the game, and I'm wondering how this game isn't going to be a deadlock, and it feels like it has to be, and we're seeing just that. Game number one and six to one. I'm a little surprised. I'm worried for Hexa Esports. Will they be able to bounce back? Uh, you know, Bone Breakers, they just came out looking so, so good. So good. And they came out looking great in game number two as well. They go up by three, three to zero. It looked like a shutout might have been on the horizon for Ransu, the way that he was performing and the way that the defensemen were performing for Wicks and Capitano. But game number two from the second period on was all Hexa Esports. A great job. Big shout out to Adrif for four goals on target, four goals in the back of the net. Man, these guys, these guys are something else. I'll tell you. They came to play. You thought maybe that was going to be the end of them in game number one. They aren't dropping out that easy at all. A big shout out to Tromi as well. A big move down low through one defender sidesteps a second. The pass to that right wing circle. And a rifle of Arista comes out. I believe that was Adri's first goal of that game. Ladies and gentlemen, we have one more game to watch. Who's going to take this one? A 6-1 to win in game number one. A 6-3 to win in game number two. The win split amongst teams when we return. Game number three underway. Tuoja, tuoja. Kis, kis. Ilmoittaudun mukaan EHOKI SM-kisoihin. Yksi vastaa yksi tai kuusi vastaa kuusi joukkuekisa. Mm. Tämä se oli ihan nätti niin oikeasti pelattu.
minkä päällä lakukastiken maistuu parhaalta. Ei voi tietää, ellei kokeile. Kouvolan lakritsi.
minkä päällä lakukastiken maistuu parhaalta. Ei voi tietää, ellei kokeile. Kouvolan lakritsi. Tuonne no. Vedässä. Onpa vaikea. Suoja tuohon ja kis, kis. Ilmoittaudu mukaan ehokin sm kisoihin Yksi vastaa yksi tai kuusi vastaa kuusi joukkue Tämä se oli ihan nätti niin kuin oikeasti pelattu. Welcome back yet again, ladies and gentlemen. We are here for game number three. If you're only just now joining us, my oh my, what a series you have missed up to this point. Game number one was taken by Bone Breakers. Six to one. They came out unbelievably strong. You had to be a little bit worried for Hexa Esports. Were they going to be able to bounce back? They didn't look hot at all in that first game. But my oh my, did they look good in the second. Even at the beginning, you might have been a little worried as they took a 3-0 deficit. Three unanswered goals for Bone Breakers. That is correct. You heard me right. Three unanswered. Typically, a comeback doesn't happen in hockey. When we see more than two goals, it's very rare. But Hexa Esports broke back. They broke the scoring gate. They broke the barrier that they were facing. <clears throat> These guys came back strong, and they came back powerful. Moving the puck, beautiful shots, finding goal opportunities. Getting that puck past Ransu was their biggest challenge, and they did just that. They came back and won that game 6-3. to three. We're underway here in game number three. This will be the final one today. And now Wix is going to be the person we join. <clears throat> Wix looking to move this thing up the ice, but it is cut off. Now it's Amosi moving it to Thomas. Thomas to CMB, CMB back to Thomas. They don't like the read. Hexa Esports was going to cross the blue line. It was crowded with black jerseys from the Bone Breakers, so they take a deep breath and regain in the defensive zone. Now, Thomas looking for an opportunity and a way to break this puck through the neutral zone. Tromi up to Amosi. Amosi, big sidestep, big pick up here. And now Wicks going the opposite direction. Here's a breakaway for Tromi. Tromi to the forehand, and we see a goal. Unbelievably fast, unbelievably early in the first period. Beautiful puck movement, opens up a breakaway. He wasn't even skating that fast. It was the unexpected pass from his teammate. And what a beautiful finish here. What a beautiful finish. Adrif to Tromi. Tromi, forehand, backhand, forehand. Gets Ransu out of that crease and opens up a scoring opportunity. That Hexa Esports can't help but capitalize on. Back to the face-off circle at center ice. This one won by Hexa Esports. Thomas moving this thing to Tromi. Tromi, long pass. This one's going to be picked up by Alupekas and then moved up to that left wing player. Here we go. Looking for a cross-crease pass, but this one's cut off by Tromi. Now moved to Adrif, who's on another breakaway. Adrif is going to get checked and loses control of the puck. What a fantastic job by Wicks to get that puck off the tape of Adrif. Adrif now moving this one to Amosi. Amosi crossing the blue line, taking a check, but still able to move it to Adrif. Adrif now through two defenders is going to get poke checked. And that's Vale going the other way. Vale. Now changing up direction. He unfortunately loses control, and that's Adrif yet again. I feel like I've said Adrif's name a hundred times. He's all over the puck this game. Tromi with control now. Looking for a pass. He's going off the boards, but it's picked up by Wicks. Wicks moving this thing to Vale. Vale back to Wicks. Wicks with some moves in the neutral zone, going for a dump and chase. Thomas picks it up before the two attackers of the Bone Breakers are able to get there. Here's Adrif now. Two on two opportunity. Adrif. Looking to move it down low, but he's checked and loses control. And that's Wicks who picks it up. Wicks now getting poke checked. And it's Amosi. Amosi moves this thing to Adrif behind the net. And Adrif now trying to battle out of this crowd of defenders. CMB at the point. CMB looking for a wrist shot. It's blocked. And now we have Bobby going the other direction. Bobby over to Vale. Back to Bobby. Bobby going to get poke checked. 
And now the pass to Adrif. Adrif crosses the blue line. Unfortunately, he doesn't win the foot race. And now Wicks is going to take this thing the opposite direction yet again. Some back and forth play in this third game. Hexa Esports, the only team to capitalize here. Bobby might change that as he's skating in. Takes a wrist shot, but a big save from Neo, who keeps it covered and waits for the whistle. An unbelievable showing here early on. The puck moving up the ice, down the ice. Big neutral zone battles up to this point. Here's a big dump. Unfortunately, they're going to get called for icing, and we're just going to see a defensive zone faceoff. I'm not sure what the intention was there. Maybe looking for a dump and chase, but the race, the race was not won by Hexa Esports. Big defensive zone faceoff win. CMB going to take this thing across the red line, passing it back to Tromi. Tromi crosses the blue, but he's checked out now. Vale is going to pick this puck up. Bone breakers. Looking for a scoring opportunity for the first time all game. I don't believe they've had a single one up to this point. The first period has been dominated by Hexa Esports, who nearly finds another one. Here we go. Bobby going the other way. Bobby's going to cross the blue line. Unbelievable amounts of speed before moving the puck to Vale. Vale over to Alupekas, who feeds, I don't even know if I can call it a shot, a little pee roller, if you will, toward the net. It does not go. It nearly does. But a great job here from Neo to find the puck in the crowd of skates. He covers it and takes a whistle. If you're bone breakers here, you just need some more control in the offensive zone. They're looking a lot like Hexa Esports early in the second game. Not completely absent, but just struggling for opportunities. Now, what we just saw on the opposite end, we're going to see in the forefront, in the glove of Ransu, who covers and waits for the whistle. Defensive zone faceoff one here by the Bone Breakers. 30 seconds left on the clock in this first period. Puck moved now up to Vale. Vale going to cross the blue line. Can Bone Breakers tie this thing up before the first period ends? Three, two, one. The horn goes off, and that sounds the end of the first period. Play of the first period credited to Hazala. Assistant captain here by the Bone Breakers. Not able to find the back of the net, but they're playing a physical game, as you can imagine, from a team called the Bone Breakers. We're talking about hits in a very physical game coming out here from the Bone Breakers. 90 hits in this postseason for Jordan. 45 hits in this postseason for Mika. The offense, just as many hits. 45 hits for Alex and 66 hits for Oscar. Over 150 combined hits for Oscar and Jordan on that left side of the ice. Can't imagine any team would want to attack that. Here's the early breakaway that we saw. Again, not much fast-moving puck or skates there, but a beautiful pass play, a very quick pass that the defenseman from the Bone Breakers, they just weren't ready. And now, face-off circle, period number two is officially underway. This face-off won by Hexa Esports. Tromi controlling this thing in his defensive zone, moving it up to Adrif. Adrif taking his time, shake and bake, takes a shot, but a big block here from Ransu. And now, puck going the other way, it's on the tape of Bobi, who moves it to Vale. Vale, looking for a pass down low. CMB is able to recover this thing and cut off that pass. Adrif trying to make something happen. He sidesteps past one defender. He thought maybe he would have lost the puck there. But he does a great job of recovering it. It was a little loose out in the open. Here's a big check at the blue line. That player's down for a little bit. We might have saw a little bit of an injury, but he hops back up just in time. He's back on defense now and looks healthy as he skates. A big leg pad save here on a clear. Thomas to Tromi. Tromi to Adrif. Adrif to CMB. Vale finally able to pick this thing up for the Bone Breakers, and we're going to get it off sides. Offsides is called. It's very rare that we hear a whistle. Not many penalties, not many offsides at all in these games. Not to say there haven't been any, but penalty kill units up to this point have been pretty great. Just one penalty goal let in. Here we go. 
CMB taking a wrist shot that goes just wide. Nearly hits the post. And now, bone breakers. Here's Bobby. Bobby through the legs. Passing it over now to Alupeka. Alupeka's to Vale. Vale moving it down low to Alupeka. Nearly finds a forehand opportunity just past the leg pad there of Neo. But Amosi's there to save the day. He gets this puck out of the zone. Unfortunately, a whistle's called, but it is a moment for everybody to breathe on the defensive side of Hexa Esports. We mentioned earlier, Thomas and Tromi, a dynamic duo leading the league in points and block shots for defensemen. They needed to come up big for Hexa Esports here, and they are waking up. Bone Breakers can't seem to find a single scoring opportunity. As I say that, here's one that unfolds, but a big interception by none other than Troby, but it doesn't matter. Alu Pekas waits in the right wing for that pass. A big poke check here opens up an opportunity, and Bone Breakers is on the board. Just as I was talking about the defenseman of Hexa Esports, Bone Breakers is prepared to shut me up. Bobby, a backhand pass over to Alu Pekas. And Alupekas was standing there ready to rifle it. A big shot into the top right corner. I would call an unsavable shot. That one came in at what felt like Mach 8 speed. Vale here crossing the blue line. Thomas there to intercept things. A deep breath here as Hex Esports moves the opposite direction. CMB moving this thing up but being picked off by Bobby. Bobby now going to clear it. Or so we thought. Vale is there to pick it up in the neutral zone. No icing. Vale now with control, looking for a pass. Nearly found Capitano, who was wound up for a slap shot in the other wing of that blue line. Here we go now. This one's picked up by Alupekas. Alupekas trying to move it out of the zone. Moves it to Wicks. Wicks now going to cross his own blue line. Now feeds it back to his other defender. Taking a deep breath. I love this play here from Bone Breakers. They're just regaining their momentum that they had earlier. I mentioned not seeing a lot of puck movement in the zone. They're showing us that they can move that puck like they did in game number one. Some opportunities are opening up now. Not only did we see their first goal in this period, but we're seeing a ton more opportunities in general in period number two for the Bone Breakers. We're deadlocked at one. What an interesting series. We knew it was going to be close. Game number one was a blowout for the Bone Breakers. Game number two was an unbelievable blowout comeback for Hexa Esports. And in game number three, no blowout here. Two goals scored, one for each team. They're keeping this one close. This is how I would have imagined both game one and two to go. But finally in game number three, we're seeing it. And Bobby... Just got an unbelievable burst of speed as he crossed the blue line. What a beautiful feed through the slot. Bobby takes it to the forehand. Takes it around the leg pad here of Neo. And tucks it just barely in that corner before he crosses the back line. And we're going to see Bone Breakers go ahead here in this one 2-1. to one. Another comeback. Change of momentum time and time again. Bone Breakers in Game 1, Bone Breakers at the beginning of Game 2, Hexa Esports toward the end, Hexa Esports at the beginning of this one, and now back to Bone Breakers. Neither team can keep their momentum rolling. Great recovery from both sides of the puck. Just make sure that your team stays in this series as best you possibly can. Tromi moves it now to Amosi. Amosi intercepted now. Capitano moving the other way. We really haven't heard much from Capitano. He's showing up a little bit here in game number three. Wicks picking this thing up. Looking to move it out of the zone, but a dream for the poke check from behind. He's able to keep it in his zone. And now Bobby's moving the other way past one defender. Two on one opportunity here. Bobby with the pass over to Alu Pekka's. What an unbelievable save here from Neo to close out this second period. That was unreal. Alu Peck is here, going to be given the play of the period. This is that one-timer that we mentioned. He was just locked and loaded, although they lost control for a second. He stays locked in that zone, locked in that right circle. 
waiting for an opportunity. He's got faith in his other attacker to poke that puck loose and move it over. And we're going to take a look now at those two goals that were scored. That line is unbelievably close all around time of possession, shots on goal. Everything seems to be pretty deadlocked here. Look at this. A big poke check here moved over to Alupekas, who takes a big rifle in the top right corner, tucks it just under that bar. Top shelf rack. And look at that. There's the breakthrough yet again for Bobby, who I mentioned had an unreasonable amount of speed. Not a train that you're going to stop if you're Hexa's defense. Here we go. Back to the circle. Third period underway. This is the final period of hockey you guys will see today. If you haven't already, follow the channel. Come back next time. We're live. We hope to see you guys in the chat next time. ECL is here to stay hosting leagues time and time again across all seasons. Here is Hexa Esports with control trying to cross the blue line. Unfortunately, they are called for offside. A little bit of excitement. I understand it. I'm excited. We're all excited to see the third period. And they're trying to make a little bit of a comeback. They're down by a goal. Two unanswered here for the Bone Breakers. Here's a Dreef stepping into the zone. Picked up by Alupekas. Alupekas moving the other way. Bobby's able to pick this thing up. Now Alupekas picks this thing up. My gosh. Hexa Esports just can't seem to get it out of their zone. Vale now looking for a pass. Finally, CMB is able to recover this puck. His team's unbelievably thankful for him. And now CMB looks for a pass, but it's intercepted. Alupekas going the other way. Alupekas behind the net right now, waiting for a passing opportunity to open up. Big poke check here. Alupekas able to keep this thing, though. Moves it to Vale. Vale to the point to Wicks. Wicks down low to Bobby. Bobby. A pass to Alapekas in the slot. A big leg pad save here from Neo. Now Tromi finally able to regain things for Hexa Esports. Looking for a long pass. Nearly an icing call. But the foot race is won by Amosi. And now we're back into the neutral zone. Lots of puck play in the neutral zone this game. Neither team can really keep it in their zone for a long period of time. CMB now with a big pass. Nearly opens up a scoring opportunity for Adrif. But the man, the myth, the legend, Ransu. Just a 1.75 goals against here in the postseason is showing how that's possible. Keeping that puck out of the net. 83.99 save percentage showing up big. Here we go. What a beautiful job here from Ransu, keeping his team ahead in game number three. Capitano trying to make something happen in his defensive zone, but the heavy pressure here from Hexa Esports. Capitano just can't keep up. Here we go. Now, finally, Bonebreakers able to move it the other way, but just when you thought they were going to have a little bit of an odd man rush... A trip comes out from Hexa Esports. Now, we go back to those power play stats. The penalty kill from Hexa Esports is at 94%. It's so unbelievably difficult to get a goal through their power play. Sorry, penalty kill unit. But a beautiful power play percentage here. 35% for the Bone Breakers. This is one of the few times we've been able to see them cook in this series. We'll see if they can capitalize like they did 35% of the other times. Here's Wicks with control. Down low to Bobby. Bobby back to Wicks. Wicks moving into the slot, looking for a wrist shot opportunity, it seems. Down low to Bobby now. Bobby back to Wicks. Wicks with a wrist shot, looking for a redirect, but it doesn't go. Here's a big save from Neo. Neo, Neo, Neo. Remember the name. Big saves left, right, and center. And a big two saves yet again here on the power play. Here we go. Big offensive zone faceoff on this power play. 
Bobby to Wicks. Wicks to Bobby. Bobby down low looking for a pass to Vale. But a big interception and a big clear. Time has ticked off. The power play has ended. We're back to even strength. Here's Vale taking control of this thing in his offensive zone. Spinorama does not go. Here's the backhand. Very slow, but still somehow nearly finds the net. Tromi with a big pass up to Amosi. Amosi with the sidestep. Amosi with another sidestep. He's making light work of Wicks. Wicks just got his shoes untied. And now Capitano looking to leave his mark on this game. A long pass, but Thomas is able to pick it up. That nearly connected with Vale. That would have been a remarkable pass, one that we surely would have gone back to review as it most likely would have ended in a goal, but a great job there from the defense. We have a broken stick on the ice. Looking for a one-timer. That could have been dangerous. Broken stick, honestly, is probably Hexa Esports' best friend right now. We have an I've sides called. My apologies. Not an offsides. This is going to be a penalty. Am I correct? This is difficult to understand. No penalty. It was offsides. Okay. I saw the check. It might have looked like elbowing. It, no, no penalty called. We're good. Even strength. Thomas with control. Trumby trying to take this thing across the blue line, but is met by three defenders on Bone Breakers. Not sure what Tromi's main goal was there. Nearly a wraparound goal. Neo, the man keeping Hexa Esports in this thing, is continuing to do so. Not allowing a puck to enter that net. Here we go. Bobby with control. Just a minute and 30 seconds on the clock. If you're Hexa Esports, you need to gain control of this puck right now. Bobby's doing a beautiful job. He regains it again and now moves it to Vale. Bobby doing a beautiful job of keeping this puck off of the stick of Hexa Esports. They're so desperate. Just 25 seconds. They have a little bit of a break here, but Vale on the back check is able to take control. Vale now around a defender, trying to move it up to Bobby, but is intercepted. And now 14 seconds on the clock. It looks as though Hexa Esports will have enough time for one more push. Vale on the breakaway! Looking for the one-hand tuck in the five-hole, but it doesn't go. Four seconds. Three, two, one. Hexa Esports just cannot gain control of this puck. They can't get it out of their zone. And they will lose this third game two to one. My oh my. Game number one, seven goals scored. Game number two, nine goals scored. But we see just three here. In game number three, play of the game credited to Alu Pekas. This is going to be that beautiful one-timer that we saw. He stood there ready for it. Absolutely rifles the top right corner of that net. Neo, it would have taken a miracle for him to get his glove up that fast. If he would have saved that, we'd have been talking about that save for weeks to come. Here is the final celebration of the day for Bone Breakers. Man, they are setting the tone. They are setting the tone. If Hexa Esports want to win this finals, they need to come in to day number two, ready to rock and roll. You have to imagine if they're looking to make something happen, they want to come out and win game number one. They want to win game number one. They want to tie up the series and re-rack it. Make it feel like a 0-0 series. You know, all momentum from today is going to be squashed. Coming in tomorrow, it's going to be a fresh ice, deep breath, an opportunity for both teams to prove who they are. Some replays here. This was the first goal of the game. Hexa Esports, a beautiful breakaway opportunity. Backhand to the forehand. A wrist shot to the right side of the net. This was the first time that we've seen Bone Breakers score in this game. This was that Alu Pekka's one-timer. Look at how far up in the top right corner he tucked it. Oh my gosh. Top shelf rifler indeed. And here is the only other goal that we saw from Bone Breakers. Just barely able to get it around the glove of Neo. Neo gets the leather on it, but just can't keep it out. What a game this series has just started. There are still so many games to be played here. If Hexa Esports can tie this series up, 
We're only four games in. We're going to see three more. This is a best of seven series. Non-stop action. Non-stop action. Bone Breakers came to play today. They didn't look so hot in game number two, but they took a deep breath. In the intermission, they talked to each other. Hey, how can we bounce back? How can we get in control of this series yet again? They found a way to do it. Beautiful puck movement down low. A lot of neutral zone action here in this game number three. But all in all, these guys look great. Let's go to the bracket. We look at the bracket. Again, Bone Breakers had such a commanding run to the finals. 4-1 to one versus finish. 4-0 to zero versus Almost Famous. And now they are looking good here in this last series. But let's not discredit Hexa. Hexa Esports also had a very commanding run. 4-0 to zero over Videlma. And 4-2 to two over Neptune Hockey. It looks like that second series might have been a little bit close. But Hexa took control when they needed it most. And now they're able to take one off of Bone Breakers. Bronze match. Big shout out to Neptune for winning that bronze match. They won it in a clean sweep 3-0. Again, all three of those top three teams, that's Bone Breakers, Hexa, and Neptune, will all be promoted to the Pro League next season. So, good luck to them. Upcoming broadcast is an important thing to note if you're here in chat. I genuinely hope you've enjoyed this stream. I hope you've watched the games and were as excited as I was. But let's not forget, it's only just begun. Tomorrow, we are back. Hexa Esports versus Bone Breakers for games 4, 5, 6, and 7 if they're needed. Bone Breakers keeping this thing as close as possible by regaining. Hexa Esports looking to come back strong tomorrow. These games... Tomorrow will be streamed with some high octane action. Please make sure you're checking out the Sports Gamer socials so that you can stay up to date on time. Come Friday, don't forget about this one either. We're going to see all seven games on Friday. This one on February 23rd, 1900. This one's versus the H Reds and Tunnel Vision. A great game this one will be. This is the Elite Finals. These guys battled hard as well. Their bracket. So much in their favor and uh, man i'm unbelievably excited to see these teams go head to head we'll see what they can do come friday ladies and gentlemen thank you so unbelievably much for watching my name has been logan former my name is logan former <laughs> it was a pleasure for me i hope you guys had a great time as well a big 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 thank you to kovalan lacristi licorice for sponsoring this season of the ECL. Don't forget, registration is open for the NHL 24 Finnish Championship. You can find out information about that on the Sports Gamer GG social medias. Use your commands to figure out where you can find those links. And I hope you guys have a fantastic morning, day, night, evening, whatever time it is for you where you're at. Salute. Tonne no. Vedässä. Onpa vaikea. Suoja tuohon ja... Kis, kis. Ilmoittaudu mukaan Ehoki SM-kisoihin. Yksi vastaa yksi tai kuusi vastaa kuusi joukkuekisoja. Mm. Tää se oli ihan nättiä niin oikeesti pelattu. Minkä päällä lakukastike maistuu parhaalta? Ei voi tietää ellei kokeile. Kouvolan lakritsi. 